Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and today I'm checking out the Melody Sauce plugin from AvaBeat. These guys reached out to me a while back um, asking me if I could uh, do a review of their plugin, and um, finally got around to it. Sorry guys, it just takes me forever to get these things done sometimes. Uh, this is going to be as first impressions of a review as it really can be. I've barely used this thing. I've just messed with it enough to kind of understand how it works. Uh, but what this is supposed to do is it's it's a plugin that uses artificial intelligence to automatically generate melodic ideas. So it's not just like an arpeggiator that just generates an arpeggiated pattern. It actually generates mo different melodic patterns. And every time you generate a pattern, it's a different, completely new, different, unique pattern. So let me just show you a quick example of something you can do with this. Notice that I've got uh, an instrument track up here with no MIDI on it. Uh, the bass and the drums are just um, an arpeggiated bass and a drum loop, and I'm using uh, Sculpture uh, right now on my software instrument. So that whole melodic idea is being generated artificially. And I did a video on this, um, similar to this, um, a couple weeks ago using chord trigger and the arpeggiator, but this kind of takes it to another level because every, you know, the patterns aren't based on preset patterns in an arpeggiator. So a couple things real quick before I jump into this. One, this is not a software instrument. It's actually, a, in Logic at least, it loads up as a MIDI effects plugin. And I'm really happy to see this because there's tons of companies making new instruments, making new effects plugins, and a lot of it's a lot of the same stuff. Like, you know, I don't need another polyphonic synth. I don't need another compressor. I don't need another EQ. It's nice to see that people are actually developing software for MIDI effects plugins. I'd like to see more of these because these seem to be the more creative tools that you can use, um, you know, when when writing music and, and producing music. So you load it up as a, uh, a MIDI effects plugin on your software instrument, put whatever instrument you want on here. Now I have Sculpture on here right now, but I wanna show you real quick why I have Sculpture. Um, if you use like a regular like monophonic or legato style lead with this, It always does that at the end, it just kind of holds, and I'm, I'm not really sure why. And that's just because the instrument um, isn't getting a note off message. Um, with other instruments, like sculpture, it's more of like a plucked tone. So it, the, the sound will decay down to nothing, even without a note off message. Um, so that's why I, I was using uh, sculpture instead. So try to stick with instruments like this, um, unless you want to deal with that note off issue. Uh, maybe that's something they can fix in a, in a future version. So you notice it doesn't hold the note out. Okay, so that's one thing I wanted to point out real quick. Okay, so let me just dive through all of the controls here. Um, you have a bank of melodies here. These are the melodies that are generated by these nine pads here. So if I want to add in a pattern, I just click one of these pads and you can stack up multiples. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning is they do not play in succession like this. Um, it's not going to play one, then two, then three, then four. You just have to select one that you like, and that's the one that'll play. The track that you're on doesn't have to have any MIDI information on it. In fact, you don't want to have any MIDI information on it. If you want to switch from one melody to another, you're either going to have to use automation to do that, or you're going to have to duplicate the track and have one with melody one, one with melody two. But the thing is, because the plugin's always running in the background, you may have to do some tricky automation to uh, mute 
and then unmute the plugin uh, where you want it to play. The other thing you can do is you can choose between light, dark, or both light and dark patterns, simple, complex, or both uh, simple and complex patterns, meaning rhythmically complex. Now, the patterns that are generated are all based on these parameters over here. And actually, they're, these parameters can be changed even during playback. So you don't have to tweak the settings, then generate a pattern. You can generate a pattern, then tweak the settings. So you can set what key you want to be in. Um, for me, I'm going to set uh, C major and A minor, since my bass line is in A minor. Um, you can adjust how slow or fast the pattern goes. Whether you want it to go up an octave, down an octave, or in the normal octave, you can swing it. You can give it a triplet in three feel, and syncopation will make the rhythm a, a bit more interesting. So let me just generate a simple light pattern. And so it's uh, rhythmically simple, light meaning that it's probably going to tend to be more on the C major side of things. If I want to move slower, I can put this on slow. If I want it to be up an octave, I can change the octave. You can set the swing to on. So um, with slow, it'll be like a swung eighth note. Fast, it's like a swung 16th. Versus swing off. Yes, yeah, so that's straight eighth notes, whereas swing is, is swung eighth notes. You can also set this to a triplet feel where all of the notes will lock up to a triplet grid. So if you're writing something that's more like in 12-8 or 6-8 instead of 4-4, four, four, um, this can help with that because it groups your eighth notes in threes rather than twos. Should probably turn the metronome on. So you can hear the, the eighth notes are grouped into threes. And then syncopation just gives you a more complex rhythm with some notes that are on up beats uh, rather than on down beats. So with this off, you get a pretty, uh, pretty simple rhythm. If you turn this on, you get a bit more variation in the rhythm. And after you've added a melody to your melody bank, you can actually sw uh, switch between light and dark sounds. So if I click on that original melody again, but then click dark, it's gonna convert it to a dark uh, melody. And then you can jump back and forth between these and decide which one you like best. So I'll go with the first one. You can harmonize as well. That's pretty cool. There's harmonize off, a high, medium, or mid, and low voicing, and then you can also harmonize down an octave. Legato you heard, heard earlier when I was playing around with the ES2 patch instead. With legato on, there's no gaps between the notes, and with legato off, there are gaps between the notes. But for this instrument, it's not going to matter. Um, and then you can clear all your patterns, which I won't do, and then you can also mute the pattern. So let's see what this sounds like with my bass and drums in again. Let's try swapping this out with a dark melody instead. So 
maybe I don't like that one too much. Uh, let's go with a complex dark melody here. So that's something that's really cool too. Um, you can jump back and forth between the harmonize off and the harmonize on. Now, let's say that I wanted to automate my harmonize buttons. Normally what you'd think is you just hit A to open up your automation view, turn on one of your live automation modes. Um, I'll go with uh, touch. And you would think that you could just kind of switch between these with automation. But for whatever reason, it doesn't write any automation. Um, the interesting thing though, is that when you go into the automation parameters, Melody Sauce is there. There's a lot of automation controls for it, um, including the harmonize option. So I could choose harmonize off. We could say that parameter is on. And then we could say Melody Sauce harmonize mid. And we could say, I want that parameter uh, off. And I'll click here to show an additional automation lane. And I wonder if now, if I, now that I turned those parameters on, I wonder if the uh, live automation will work. Yeah, it's not reading any automation. So you're gonna have to manually, uh, manually automate these things. So I'll just grab my marquee tool. I'll set my snap mode to bar. And then for the, spots where I want the um, harmonization off button to be off, I'll pull that down. Where the And the areas where I want the harmonization uh, mid on, I'll pull those up just like so. So it's a little bit of legwork. I really wish you could do it with live automation because I could pretty quickly just enter in those parameters, but it is what it is. Not really sure why it doesn't work uh, that way, but let's uh, let's see what happens now. Let me just put this back on read mode, and let's see if the plugin follows this automation. Yeah, so now it's following it. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a little wonky. Otherwise, the result I'm getting from it is really cool. Um, the only thing, another kind of tricky thing about it is when you're done using that. Oh, and it crashed logic too. Okay, so full disclosure here, guys, this is the second time it's crashed logic on me. Um, I guess I'll just reopen. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, it's really cool, but it's just... It's one of those things sometimes where it's like, it's a cool product, but there's a lot of little things with it that need to be fixed. You know, I'm not exactly sure if this is version one, this is their first stab at it, or if this is 1.5. Yeah. So it's relatively new, I'm assuming, but it's a really cool plugin, but there's little things about it, you know, and that's three things now where I've counted where the automation doesn't work in live modes. It holds out notes um, with you know, legato style patches, it crashes logic on me. But like I was saying, that result you get from it is really cool. You know, it's it's a very useful tool, don't get me wrong, despite its, you know, shortcomings on some of the performance things. Um, one other thing to be aware of is when you want that pattern to end, like if you don't want it to play anymore, you're gonna have to go in here and either automate the volume down at the end of that sequence so that it's basically just completely muted. Or what you can do is instead of automating the volume, you can automate Melody Sauce's mute button should be in here somewhere um do 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 
Okay, so the mute button is not in there. So basically, yeah, you have to do it that way. I mean, you can mute it, but it's not going to be picked up by automation at all. Yeah, I mean, you could bypass Melody Sauce. You could do that. Like if you wanted it to stop playing here, for example, you could kick in the bypass and it won't play after that point. And then the melody is uh, um, melody sauce is uh, bypassed at this point. So, yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, there's a whole bunch of different patterns you can pick from. And if I didn't already mention it before, every time you generate a melody, it's a different melody. So when you click on this middle button, you're not going to get the same melody every single time. When you click on this button, you're not going to get the same melody every time. It's going to automatically generate a new melody artificially. So every time you'll get an original uh, melody out of it, which is very cool. So all in all, it's a very creative tool. It's a it's a really great uh, tool for generating melodic patterns like this. The downsides are they've still got some bugs to fix. It's crashed my logic a couple times just in the last hour here. The fact that you can't automate parameters live, even though they show up up here, and the fact that the mute button doesn't have uh, an automatable parameter kind of irks me. So that's those are just a few kind of little gripes, but it doesn't take away from the coolness of the plugin. Just maybe things for them to think about in uh, in future versions of the plugin. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. I'll leave a link to their website in the comments below if you want to check this out. And as always, guys, thank you for the support and thanks for watching.